Matthew White is an interior designer, author, and chairman of the board of Save Venice. Save Venice is an American nonprofit intended to raise funds to restore the damage done after the devastating floods of 1966. Over the last 43 years, Save Venice has raised more than $20 million and restored more than 400 works of art and architecture. Matthew, in addition to being chairman of Save Venice, wrote a book, Italy of My Dreams. It's a design book about the profound influence Italy has had on design and architecture in America. I'm delighted that Matthew is here today to chat about his love of Venice and of Italian design. Matthew, thank you so much for being here. It's a it's, pleasure. I love your book. Thank you. So let's start with, what does Italy mean for you? Well, you know, it's odd because my background is Irish, English, German. I have nothing to do genetically with Italy at all. But I went to Italy years ago in my, in my late 20s. And I think like most people, just completely fell in love, you know. So that's where it began. And it sort of snowballed into this passion for everything Italian. And you were first on the board of Say Venice. Yes, I'd been on the board for, I believe, 13 years, and I've been chairman for the last five years. So tell us a little bit about Say Venice. Well, Save Venice, Save Venice is an American nonprofit. After the floods of 1966, which devastated the city, uh, many, many countries um, came in to help restore the arts and documents that were lost. Uh, and so that was how we founded. But over the last um, 40 years, we've just, it's just been incredible to see the works of art that we've restored. It's this small group of uh, passionate Americans, and we're led by a, 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 a smaller group of very world-renowned uh, historians and, and uh, art historians. And, and um, they lead us, and, and, and um, through their guidance, we select these projects that we'll take on. But how did you first even get connected with the well, project? Well, you know, I have a dear friend in California. We used to live in California, uh, Terry Stanfill, and she introduced me to Save Venice, and she invited me to the first, uh, my first gala in Venice. That I, I and every two years, Save Venice, we 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 hold these four-day galas in Venice, which is. Um, just a spectacular series of parties uh, in private palaces, and uh, but all to raise money for our restoration projects. And so I had never really heard of Save Venice. I didn't know anything about it. She introduced me to it. I was invited to the Scala. I went, and believe me, I've it was like nothing I've ever been to before. Nobody parties like the Venetians. Well, nobody does. And nobody in America parties like Save Venice. Nobody. Uh, we throw fabulous parties. And it's all, of course, to raise money for our for our mission. Are you still doing the parties here in the States? We have a ball here in New York every year, and it's a spectacular you know, social event. Uh, every two years, again, we have the, our events in, in Venice, and that's four days, and it includes lunches and balls and dinners and lectures, uh, site visits, restoration visits, and we're looking to grow it, so it's, it's, a, it's very exciting. Tell me about one of the pieces that particularly resonate for you, something that was restored. Well. Recently, we restored actually an entire room, and this resonated with me because I'm an interior designer, and I love spaces. And the spectacular thing about Venice is you can go into rooms where a Titian is hanging in the place that it was designed to hang. You know, that's, you go to the Met, which is fabulous, or any great museum, and you're seeing pieces plucked from their original room and put into a new room, which is great, but it's not the same. At the Academia, the, the Gallery Academia in Venice, there's this room called the Sala dell'Albergo. And it's a room that has the most spectacular 15th century ceiling, uh, one of the most beautiful 15th century ceilings in all of Venice. It has a Titian on one wall that was painted for that spot. And you can see how the light comes through the window and illuminates the painting. Titian really understood, you know, the effect of the, his work in this room. So we restored the entire room, the ceiling, 
the Titian. We, we brought in two paintings that were created for this room 500 years ago that had been in storage for more than a century, restored them to the room. Uh, they weren't, they're not as great as the Titian, but they're fabulous paintings. And then we moved another painting to more to its pos original position. So we, we restored architecture, interior architecture, paintings, and an interior, you know? And so for me, that really resonates. Speaking of work, your book is so Thank amazing. You. Thank you. Tell, look at the, just, I, I just love so many of the points. And uh, tell me a little bit about it, the influence that Italy has had on your work. Well, I think, I think going back just a bit, there's a, there's a, not a real understanding about the importance of Italian style on uh, world taste, really, but Western taste and certainly American taste. Because here in America, you know, we were born in the 18th century, so we were very influenced by the great powers of the 18th century, which was France and England. Uh, but it was the French that went to Italy for their inspiration. It was the English. Look at the Palladian country houses in England, inspired by Italy. You know, the Grand Tour, everybody. This book is, is really a personal, sort of on a, almost a design biography in a way, about how I have been influenced and my own work has been influenced by Italian style. Do you have a favorite spot or two in Venice? That's so hard to answer because there's so many. I mean, just the, the, walking the streets. Just walking the streets. I mean, the 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 academia, of course, I love, and I'm always there. We we have a lot of projects, and we have 30 projects going on through Save Venice right now. So the uh, Santa Maria Miracule, the little church um, uh, in Venice, is a, is a an old project of Save Venice. We, we restored uh, a few decades ago, but such a jewel box of a beautiful little church. Uh, of course, the restaurants. I love good food. I love good food. Yeah. So. Well, I, I, I want to go to one of those galas, <laughs> so get me on your list. You're on um, it. You're on and it. everyone support Save Venice. It sounds like such a yeah. wonderful, wonderful, worthy yeah. uh, organization. It's done so much great work. And I want to thank you so much for being here thank today. You. Grazie, grazie. Thank you.